Remploy workers have been campaigning over jobs and funding since the last Labour government. But last month, the coalition government announced it wants to close 34 factories and make more than 1,700 workers redundant immediately. The unions say those people will vanish without trace into long-term unemployment. People who've never worked before in their lives, but they come to Remploy, they get the work ethic back, they get the work experience, and they get training. Plus, the workers at Barking and all the other employ factories, we're owning our own, earning our own money. We're contributing to the national and local economies. Campaigners say the coalition's hostility to Remploy's supportive, specialised environment is based on bad accounting and on hijacking ideals which disability groups had fought for for generations. When we talk about wanting more personalised support that we have greater choice and control over, um, they have twisted that so that's about privatisation or the dismantling of services and that's not what we meant. Likewise when we're talking and, and our movement for independent living is an in, in, independent life as in being in control and having choices to fully take part in a society, in a community. It's been twisted uh, to, to mean the removal of state benefits, the removal of entitlements. Unions are now promising more of this and a campaign of civil disobedience, if necessary, to keep their employ workers in their jobs. Remploy factories are their communities. Putting people out of work and back into estates where most of these people live is not bringing them into a community. They're isolated and often victimised and bullied in workplaces, let alone communities. It's an absolute disgrace. There's been no consideration whatsoever for these people's lives. The deadline for the closure of the first of the 34 factories is in July. That may mean the campaigners and the unions have a hard task ahead to build the confidence of their employ workers themselves to take on more events like this if they want to turn around the coalition's plans. Pete Murray, Union News, Westminster.